So we got this baby cat here, a kitten. We don't know how old she is. She's kind of a, a rescue. She's a barn cat. She's born in a barn. So she's a rescue. She's not doing that well. Her left eye is severely infected. And, uh, you know, we gotta, we gotta get her to the vet and uh, see what we can do. Anyways, we'll keep you updated. We're gonna try to save her life so that we can adopt her and make her our barn cat. My guess is this kitten is somewhere in between five and eight weeks. Something's wrong with its eye. She's got some kind of an infection. Her, She's got like a nasal congestion, but she's quite energetic. Where are you going, kitty? Where are you going? No, 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 no. I don't think so. You have a cold. She's quite an affectionate kitty though. I mean, just look at her. So hopefully we got a, we got, we can save her life, you know. I'm sure if she was left in that barn, she wouldn't survive. We've been feeding her all day last night when we picked her up, and you know we have a, I have a vet appointment booked for today at three o'clock. Oh, the claws! Ow! 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 But you all know that uh, I've been looking for a cat. I'm not looking to spend a lot of money on a cat because it's just for our barn. You know that we have a rodent problem. So hopefully this this cat can be our barn cat if we can save her life. She's not really doing that great, but she's not a feral cat. And so we'll see. Ow, ow. Get off of there. Get off of there, your nose is leaking on me. Hey. <laughs> She's got super long claws. Get off. There you go. So, hopefully it's just like, like a conjunctivitis or something and they can give some drops or some medicine and we can really, she, she's quite energetic. Um, anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a little update on our barn cat situation, so hopefully she can be one. I'll keep you updated after the vet visit.
I got today's poop in a bag so she can be tested for parasites as per the vet instructions. And we are going to the vet. And I'm doing it at the same time as Molly's visit because Molly needs to get her, I think it's called NexGuard for the fleas and ticks. It's like a pill. So they need to weigh Molly so that they know what kind of a dose to give her. I guess there's different size doses. So this kitty cat's gonna be going on a ride. So we're here at the vets. Molly here, she just loves looking at all the other dogs. She just went in for her weigh-in. It wasn't a, you know, a check-in visit. It was just checking her weight to see how big of a pill she's gotta take for the fleas and ticks. But uh, you know how much she weighs? She's a big galoot. You know how much she weighs? 46 pounds. Now the last time, which was a month ago, she was 36.8. So really, she gained another 10 pounds in a month. She's almost 50 pounds, people. She's only five months old and she's almost 50 pounds. So we got the cat in there. Hopefully it's just a upper respiratory problem and maybe some conjunctivitis and we can kind of solve it right away so we'll see so we just finished with the vet and I mean we got some good news and some not so good news with respect to this new kitty hopefully we can at least give her a chance of, uh, of recovery she's got a strong spirit though because um, she's been fighting this off for some time now by herself and uh, so what her problem is she has an upper respiratory infection so of course just like humans sinuses it's like eyes ears nose and throat kind of deal where once you're not once one gets it, it, it the infection is easily spread through all those um, organs and they gave me some nasal drops with the explanation that you gotta turn the kitty upside down and get someone else to hold the arms and whatnot because the kitty's not gonna like it and drop these drops into its nasal passages and it's gotta be upside down so that the drops will really go into the nasal cavities because um, there's so there's so much congestion there she can't breathe um, and she's got some an eye ointment because that eye is messed up <laughs> messed up but the vet says that the the cornea still looks reasonable she should still have vision in there um, but it's just so infected it's so swollen so it's like shut and then uh, the other thing is like uh, an antibiotic type stuff that it's it's like drops also you can either try to drop it in her mouth so that she can ingest it that way or you have to put it on her food so that uh, you can get it in because obviously it's difficult to get you know a six week old kitty to take medicine right um, so anyways so that's the update so she has a good prognosis she should be able to fight this off within a few weeks hopefully we can help save her life we got to come up with a name for her so anybody have any suggestions drop it down in the comments and um Molly, Molly over there, she's down there having a nap. She's 46 pounds, 46 pounds. This puppy is almost 50 pounds. So she gonna be a big girl. She's gonna be a big girl. Here's just the last look at this kitty. So like Doc said, Gotta keep wiping her nose and dabbing her eye because it's obviously there's like a fluid, a constant fluid. But you know, it's just like having a common cold. So we'll see how it goes day to day. We got another vet visit booked in a week. They said uh, she should show signs of improvement in a week. If she starts to deteriorate in any way, to give them a call, obviously. So we'll see what we can do about saving this kid's life. 
and uh, give her a chance at survival and give her a chance of having a wonderful life on our farm as one of our barn cats. So wish her luck. How you doing guys? I'm here with this rescue cat and we got three different meds we gotta give her. She has an upper respiratory infection. So there's this meds that's a drops. It's supposed to, you can put it on her food or you can put it directly in her mouth. I'm gonna try putting it in her mouth. It comes with a little syringe, you know, that you can just squeeze it in there. This is like uh, amoxicillin. Then this thing here is drops for her nasal cavities. It's like one drop in each nostril two times a day. And then this stuff here is like an ointment for her left eye. So we have to put this on. We have to put this on just a thin coating on her eye. She's not gonna like it, but it has to be done. Sorry, kid. Sorry, kid. It's okay, it's okay. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. I got one nostril done. It's okay, kitty. I have to do this. Okay? The other bad thing is I'm super allergic to cats, so anytime she gives me a little scratch, it's going to break out in hives. But I got to do what I got to do to help save this kitty. Got it. Okay, swallow it, kitty. Swallow it. You're okay. Okay, that's that. Then I need to put this stuff on her eye. Thin coating, they said. Good girl. Good girl, kitty. Trying to be as gentle as possible. Oh no, more of this stuff is coming out. It's not stopping. It's not stopping. Look. I don't want to waste it, so I'll just add a little bit more on. <clears throat> All done. That's the first dose. Hopefully she's on the road to recovery. She's very well behaved though for a for a, a found rescued cat, you know. We gotta come up with a name for a survivalist name. A badass survivalist black cat name. Hey. Hey kitty. Good girl. Okay folks, I gotta go wash my hands of all this ointment and see if we can get some more playtime in for this kitty. Make sure she's eating and drinking. Giving this cat a little bit of freshness. Her eyes looking a lot better after that first night of, uh, of meds. Look at it. So I'm just giving her some fresh air.